what's going on everybody it's juicy the creative mongo and today we are going to be doing a colorful remake makeup look so as the picture that you see right before you i'll be doing a complete replica of that picture so here i am right there i have applied my skin moisturizer and foundation and we're gonna first start off with the eyebrows i used a um eyebrow pencil and and the picture they had um round forehead eyebrows so i'm just going to basically just replica that to the not exactly to the t but to the exact and we um prepped the eyebrows Used the eyebrow pencil, matched them up, cleaned them up a little bit, and add some concealer to make them more sharp. So, if you ever are having problems doing your eyebrows, your best kept secret is concealer. Like, concealer will definitely give you that, the look that you're looking for. And to make it even more, like, to your skin complexion, use your exact skin concealer or foundation. But the only reason why I use this lighter concealer is because in the picture it had like a little um, shadow to it so there I'm just perfecting them and with your eyebrows you have to realize it takes time and you also have to remember that your face and your body is one either one side is smaller than the other so <laughs> just keep that in mind <laughs> when you're doing your um your eyebrows and you see how sharp they look from before <laughs> okay And then I'll just fix them up a little bit. Um, so the um, the step that I'm doing right now, I'm adding the um, the base, and I um, patting the. Um, the primer on there because the eyeshadow palette that I have is not a real pigmented um, eyeshadow palette with primer and um, base you pretty much can wear any type of eyeshadow so that's the reason why I added that on there And I'm just patting that on there. And then you see how sharp it's looking. And also with concealer, I just let it sit for a little bit. And then I take the blender and just blend around it. And use the pencil to make it sharper now with this look I was testing it out I had a yellow eyeshadow no it was a yellow base I had so I was like 
let me use the yellow base and then put the yellow eyeshadow on top because I was just testing it out. But when I finished, well, when I was starting it, it didn't give that um, bright yellow. So I actually removed the um, the yellow um, base because it didn't come out bright and it was just making it look um, like dull. And then I believe, yeah, I switched it up like after I think I added the green or I don't quite remember. But I know that um, the yellow base behind that yellow eyeshadow, it was not working. And I was like, no. Mm -mm. <laughs> so I fixed that. So then I'm adding the green. There's about nine colors in the picture. So just to make the look go a little bit um, process faster, I guess, <laughs> I'm adding the green to both sides. But you see how on the, which is actually my right side and you guys viewing this it's going to be on the left side you see how um like dull it is on that side with the yellow that's what i was saying earlier so i'm just basically looking at the picture and just doing my work <laughs> Um, after that, I did the blue. Um, I don't know what, uh, I guess you would say it's the arch. You can say the blue is like almost at the, the archway of the eyebrow. And I just blended it. A little bit um, and at the end is the purple the purple was so beautiful man I'm just dabbing that on there Yeah, you can see like the yellow. I'll definitely be removing that very shortly. And that's when I had added extra because I was just like, I really wanted the yellow to be bright. And I kind of added um the base on top, I think I did. I was really testing it out. And then I was like, mm, it's not coming out right. So I was like, let me just blend it. So you could see the difference. You see, well, I had said it was y'all, y'all left. It's actually the right one. You see how choppy and cakey it looks? Yeah, I was like, mm. And I was like, let me try to blend it, blend, blend, but mm -mm. <laughs> I 
I tell you, like, that was the the most annoying part of this look. Like, when you're doing recreates, trial and error is fun, but, like, when you're, like, on your, on your vibe with your look, <laughs> you really don't want to do it over. <laughs> so I was like, oh, the yellow just kept bothering me. And just brushing away any excess eyeshadow because that happens. So we just blended the purple just a little bit and then we wiped away the excess eyeshadow. Now we are applying the concealer for under the eyes, a heart for the forehead, and a heart for the chin. Now with concealer, especially matte concealer, you want to leave that for about a minute, minute and a half. And then you got to start doing something with it. If not, it's going to leave like an impression right where you put that concealer. And it's going to be tricky to deal with it. So I'm just fanning it a little bit because I applied two coats because I really wanted to give that highlight for under the eyes and I also wanted to keep my eyeshadow on the end crisp sharp actually so the trick that I'm doing right now is I am blending going upward if you blend with your eyeshadow going downward, your look is going to look droopy and it's gonna look like, it's gonna look uneven. When you're blending upward, it brings more um, a sharp edge to your, your eyes. See? And not only does the concealer um corrects your ends it helps it out you don't see no eyeshadow on the face just on the eyes so it's pretty much a two-in-one right there <laughs> So now I'm just taking my time
and you want to have a, a rounder eyebrow like in the picture so I'm just taking my brown eyebrow pencil and just making it a little rounder mostly I'm going to correct it with a different type of concealer just to give it a more um, resemblance so I put the concealer under the eyebrow to give it a sharper look like you'll see like the difference from before and after it looks more clean cut see <laughs> and I put the concealer on top to just give it a more even a look even up a more even look <laughs> so now I am using that same matte um, concealer to do a quick cut crease and I like that, con that uh, concealer because the end it has a just like a little drawing tool so you just pretty much just draw out your um, above your lids midway and just follow the shape of your eye and then that can tell you how much you're gonna use of your eye to make it even and then I'm just going in and just going slightly and I definitely want to let that dry because if I was to put the eyeshadow on there, it would give it a wet look, and then one side would be dry, the other side would be wet, and it wouldn't look right. So I just use the the fan just to dry it a little bit, and also so it don't transfer. So then I'm going back into the inward of my eye, and I'm going in with the orange. And it's not transferring it's not caking up leaving it to dry for that one or two minute it makes a big difference to this look And so whatever I did to one side, I'm going to complete on the other side and I'm going to add that orange. And I'm not, um, I'm not wiping the eyeshadow on the look. I'm just patting it on there. So we're just going to go over, do our first pat, and then do a second pat. Now, 
we're adding out pink. The pink in this eyeshadow palette was so bomb. Like, I like it. I usually try to stay away from eyeshadows that are not as pigmented, but since I've been doing this method with the, the primer and the concealer, I actually was able to keep a lot of <laughs> eyeshadows. And so I'm going to be doing a quick little contour. We just draw a line on the cheekbones, blending it. So this is the picture. And there I am doing a contouring. I'm trying a new method. This is a um, translucent powder. And I'm actually beginning to like translucent powders. So we're just going to mainly focus on the cheekbones and under the eyes. And for the forehead. And a little for the chin. Now, I just let that bake a little bit. <laughs> I know it's looking mad crazy right now, but trust and believe it's going to be worth it. <laughs> so we just let that bake for like two minutes. And baking meaning like we just let the translucent powder get accustomed to our skin temperature to pretty much just bake this look. Now we're just using our brush and we're just lightly patting away the excess translucent powder. And then from there you will see the highlights coming through honey be ODing with translucent powder like it's everything you see the the glow under the eyes and the forehead and then we're just gonna do another one because I really want that like that cheek glow so I'm just going over it one more time. And you see it's coming through. So then I'll use my foundation brush just to even it out because sometimes you don't want to look like a ghost. <laughs> so then you just take your foundation brush and just go over the areas where you won't be looking like a ghost. <laughs> and then we are applying, I believe I used highlight. No, I didn't. I used blush. Just putting, I think it's a neutral blush that I'm using yeah a neutral blush and we're gonna smile because we want them cheeks to be there we want them to show so we just smile a little bit just to get a measurement of where 
where we're using the bra the blush so that's the purpose of smiling just a little bit <laughs> So I'm going to add a little bit of foundation, a little bit more, just to bring the look in. And you see it's coming in. Always don't forget to do your nose. A lot of people when they do their makeup, they forget to do their nose. And then... When they take their pictures, you got that big patch under the nose. So make sure you <laughs> put foundation for your nose. So now we are applying the highlight and I love me some highlight because it gives the eyes like a nice like happy like hello type look. So we applied the highlight for the corner of our eyes, for our nose and for the bridge, for under the nose and for under the lip. And in the picture, you see how it's such a shiny, shiny nose. So we're going to make our nose just as shiny as the picture. And we're going to really um, bring out those features around the mouth. So we're just applying the foundation for the the side of the the mouth. area so we are applying that white line and I did not have a white um, liner I had to use some eyeshadow mix it up into a liquid 
and then I applied it straight across the line. And it worked out because it was a crisp white. So we're gonna put that right on the, the lid. And then we are applying it to the other side of the eye, just a white line. I think the, the liquid um, way of doing this white line is better because if I was to use like a, a white eyebrow pencil, it would get dirty because of the, the orange and the pink eyeshadow. So for your reference, just use white eye line, eye, white eyeshadow and just make it into a liquid and apply it that way. It's not even getting mixed with the colors, nothing. And if it gets on the eye lashes, do not worry because that can get fixed. Your whole purpose of this um, step right here is just getting that line straight across. Straight and anything other can be fixed. And also, I like to apply two coats to look and really like um, show. Now, this is a, um, oh, I'm going to let that dry a little bit because I'm not trying to have that transferring and my look because my look will be partially ruined <laughs> and I'm going to have to do it all over again so now we are taking a beige pencil and we're just using it for under the eyelid area um, that wasn't really in the picture I just wanted to just add that so to fix the the white um, eyeshadow that gets in your eyelashes, just do a um, a spoolie and go over it with some mascara and it's out. And then you can apply your um, you can apply your lashes. So we are using the, we used the spoolie, now we're using the mascara to get that white um, eyeshadow out of the eyelashes. We are now going to apply our eyelashes. So one thing you want to make sure your eyelashes is that you want to measure them to your eyelid. Your eyelid. Reason being is because if you get eyelashes that are too big for your eyes, you already got the glue on there, you can't correct it. So make sure that you always measure your eyelash to yours eyelids so now we're just gonna apply some white glue
and once you apply the glue we're gonna let that sit for like a minute and now we are going to apply the eyelashes with my eyelashes I like to apply them going outward in so we are taking the outward of the eyelash matching it up with the out part of our eyes and we're pressing inward all the way down and there we have it So, I don't know what I'm looking for, <laughs> but I soon will find it. So, we applied the other eyelash, I believe. <laughs> yeah, we applied the other eyelash, and now we're just doing a quick um, lipstick touch-up and any other touch-ups touch that is needed for this look. So, hey, <laughs> so we're going to set this real quick. I um, really don't like putting setting spray on my eyelashes. I don't like doing that. So we're just going to drench this face with that setting spray. And then we're going to just brush it up a little bit. <laughs> Okay, hey, yes. <laughs> so, this is pretty much it. We're just gonna just blend out a little bit, look cute for the camera, take some pictures for the gram, <laughs> and um. Yeah, um, there's nothing else to do with this look. Here I am just trying to, <laughs> trying to take the picture like the, like the one that we, that you guys seen before. <laughs> um, right now we're just letting it, let that setting spray just set. So I'm probably just occupied doing something else. I don't know. But yeah, we're just letting that set for a little bit. <laughs> and then we're going to just take our fan and just fan our face a little bit. To have this hurry up dry. <laughs> and here I am. Just, this is the look. Like, you follow these steps and you have that same look uh special thank you to the the emails for recreating for asking for me to recreate this look um i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe let's get it let's go this is juicy the creative mongol and oh yeah so, I'm just, probably I'll just put a, um, <laughs> I probably just put some, um, mascara or eyeliner over the, um, the eyelashes, just to, um, because sometimes, 
it looks cakey. Not really cakey, but I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Okay, so, yeah, I am just fixing up the eyebrows. No, I'm actually, I am putting that, I want that white line longer. So now I'm in my zone A. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Here is the makeup look right there. And also, too, those little dots on the side right there, those are highlights. Because in the picture, it had like little freckles and made it do what it do, baby. Once again, this is Juicy the Creative Mogul. Thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. And follow me on my socials. Thank you.